In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tent with a floor from a tarp. This is for the interest of minimal gear survivalists out there. Um, I've only seen a couple of designs on the net and I didn't really care for them. Um, personally, I prefer to camp in a camper, but if I'm going way out of, uh, in the middle of nowhere, even then, I like comfort, so I'll carry the weight of the tent. But uh, there are people out there who like to do tarp shelters, and uh, I don't like the idea of being wet and muddy or having a bear walk up and stick his nose in your face because it's open. There's other people out there who feel the same way because there are a couple of videos out there with people showing how they make uh, tents with a uh, tarp with floor and um, I think my uh, design for uh, that sort of thing works a little bit better. So I'll show you what we'll need. We'll need a 10 by 20 tarp, uh, three pieces of string or rope, um, at least three stakes, although minimal gear survivalists will likely use uh, pieces of wood for that, um, and either a trekking pole with uh, variable extent or and a rock, because it's not actually going to be quite tall enough, um, or a large uh, branch or pole. And you'll need a grommet kit if you don't want to poke holes in your tarp, because there are a few points where I do add uh, grommets to the uh, tarp to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is roll out the tarp. The, uh, if you have a two-color tarp, the color that you want to have on the outside faces down towards the ground. Now as we go about setting up the tarp, I'll show you the points um, where I've added grommets uh, and why. Um, I've only added a few, but I'll go ahead and point them out right now as well. The, uh, this right here, right in the center, I added one grommet uh, to the uh, 10 foot side right in the middle. This is going to be our entrance into the tent. There are uh, grommets that it came with, one of the grommets that I added is almost halfway across, and I'll show you how to find that point when you get stake in it, and there's one that I added right over there, uh, the same distance back. In the center of the opposite end, I add two grommets side by side, uh, and this You'll uh, see why at the very end, which is uh, basically where we're going to tie off the doorway. The first thing I like to do is temporarily stake down these two corner points. Uh, these are not going to stay there, but it helps with the setup to get some tension along the front. Now, 
the center point here and the two far corner points, I uh, put the stake through all three of them into the ground here. So this is one of the points where you have to add a grommet. how you find the point to do it is you pull it so that it has tension both this way and that way and you'll find the point right there to add that grommet and you do the same thing for the other side that are necessary to stake down, but I find it uh, convenient to add the stake along the side uh, to add some tension to it, keep it from flapping in the wind as much, and make it dirtier. At this point, this right here is going to be the entrance doorway, and what we're going to have to do is go inside prop it up from the middle with either, again, a large branch or a uh, something to prop a trekking pole on that you can extend to the right height. Basically, you want to get in the middle and find the point in the center where you have equal tension in each direction. about this blowing over in the wind or whatever, this is really dirty. Um, but you can, if you're worried about that sort of thing, uh, tie off some rope here and uh, stake down in whichever direction. At this point, we're going to take up these two stakes and fold these parts up on the inside of the tent. The idea here is if I were to tie this up to the outside, rainwater would come down and leak in through here and get into the bottom. And the point of uh, doing this type of a tent shelter with a floor is to keep from being wet and muddy uh, as tarp shelters uh, would allow water in. This uh, does not. We're going to fold this in and bring it up on the inside so that the rainwater does not, since it's going to be pulled up on the inside, it won't uh, get onto your floor and on the sides it will run off uh, without being caught up in there. So that's where you're going to put that. Um, this is, again, not the necessary ones, but I like to take the, uh, the grommets that the tarp came with and stake down the sides for more tension uh, at this point as well.
I'm going to take my other stake here and add a few more stakes to each side. careful that you don't uh, bite the part of the flooring that you uh, put underneath there. You don't want to poke holes in that. I don't like the idea of a bear just walking up and sticking his nose in my face. So um, the doorway, I would want to keep closed while I'm in there in such a way that it's hard to find an entry point for uh, critters that might be roaming around. So what we're basically going to do is hold this on the inside and then tie it uh, up. And you'll see how that goes, covering the camera on the inside. Uh, if I were to... Uh, leave my uh, camping area and I didn't want to break down camp, uh, leave my equipment in there. I would tie this at this point uh, to, the, to a grommet on the outside so that it's hard for critters to find their, in, find their way into uh, your tent and where your equipment is. So at this point, uh, bring the camera to the inside. Uh, one thing I'll mention is that where I would put my sleeping bag or uh, whatnot to lay down in here is along this way on the back side. This is 10 feet across, so it's, uh, it has plenty of room uh, behind the pole right here to lie this way. Okay, so at this point I'm going to show you what we do um, with the sides that we brought in. The sides, basically, the tent uh, came with a grommet on this end, a few inches in, which was in a good position to do this, but it did not come with one on the other end uh, symmetrically uh, in for some reason. Uh, so I added a grommet there as well. Um, so basically the idea is you're going to just tie this up to the top like so And now it, uh, the uh, base comes up on each side so uh, water won't leak in from either direction. And uh, again, I would lay down that way in the space back where I put the camera. Um, at this point, you can still get in and out through this uh, direction here. I'm going to bring the doorway in. Uh, when you, you're getting ready to sleep or whatnot. At this point, I would bring the, uh, the doorway in and bring it down to the side and tie it off 
to one of the grommets that we have staked down at the base. This will make it more difficult for uh, larger critters, at least, to find their way in. Um, and again, uh, my preference, if I were going to um, camp way out in the middle of nowhere, uh, I would carry the weight of a tent. I would. Uh, I do not like the idea of uh, bugs and stuff crawling in from the sides or uh, having an open space uh, where larger animals can just walk right up to you when you're sleeping. Um, so, but those of you who are interested in uh, tarp shelters and how to do it as a tent with a floor, uh, this is the design that uh, I've come up with to answer that question. Just uh, one more thing I thought I would show as I rolled out a full-size adult sleeping bag in the back there so that you'd have an idea of how much room there is behind the pole in the back. So, there's plenty of room for uh, one man or snug couple. <laughs> but, uh, that's all I would want to try and fit in here.